child, there's some stuff you need to look out for, honey. I mean, you think you're taking something home, but it may not be that. By the time she take them eyelashes off and that hair off and and them teeth off and and the, and the legs. Oh, remember that? <laughs> she took off her legs. Oh gosh. My name is Tony Henderson Mayers. I'm a television radio relationship expert, author, and entrepreneur known as Wise Courtship all over social media because of my book with a three-step system that will help you determine the true character and the true intent of your love interest. Wise Courtship is not just a book. It's wisdom. It's guidance. It's what I call the Wise Courtship philosophy. So anytime you come on this broadcast, anytime you see me on television, hear me on the radio, watch me on stage, or even get my book, you just subscribe to the Wise Courtship philosophy. And all the philosophy is, is individuals who are committed to having whole relationships in their romances, their families, their friendships, and even in their businesses. So welcome, welcome, welcome each and every one of you. Mm -mm -mm. Wise courtship. And I think the last one, I didn't thank um, um, Matthew Evans and Hijack, AKA Sean Mayers for doing our theme song. Okay, so uh, please forgive me. I try to remember them every time to thank them for that wonderful, wonderful theme song. And also Spotify, thank you, okay, for uh, giving me the opportunity so that, you know, all y'all that's listening to me in podcast land all over the different podcast platforms. Thank you for listening to me. But if you want to listen and and see me, you can go to Spotify, okay, and look up the Wise Courtship Philosophy Show, and you can see me and, 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 and hear me, but listen, if you say, I like the platform, I'm on Miss Tony, I love it, okay, well, then go to my um YouTube channel at bit.ly forward slash Tony Tube, the two T's are capitalized, everything else is lowercase, uh, let's see, what else? We say a whole lot of stuff before we get into the content, okay? Oh, I want to show you something. I'm wearing my Make It Happen t-shirt. Yes, indeed. Because, you know, for this year, we're going to focus on that. Make it happen in your life, in your business, in your ministry, in your relationships. Make it happen. If you want a copy, if you want your own t-shirt, I'm going to try to put the link in the description. So check it out, okay? And get your shirt today as well. You can drop me a note too if you want to and say, hey, girl. I got my shirt. Mm -hmm. And you could even email me a picture of you in your t-shirt. All right. Yes, indeedy. So did I cover everything I want to say? Mm -hmm. I think so. Well, anyway, we're going to get to the content. If I don't, y'all know I will interrupt everything. That's everything I'm saying just to insert something else. <laughs> so today we're going to talk about um, why am I, no, what the, I'm trying to read their question. It says, what am I, what am I supposed to do on a date? What am I supposed to do on a date? And the reason why I punch suppose is because evidently the person knows what to do on a date, but what am I supposed to do? See, I love you wise courtship people because, you know, y'all PhD thinkers, right? That's what I'm saying. It's just, it's just on another level. So you already know how to date. Most people do know how to date, okay? They dress up. They put their little, you know, nice clothes on, lipstick or cologne or whatever, you know, and they just prance themselves, you know, and try to be in the best vehicle if at all possible. If not, they're going to park it around the corner and then they're going to walk around the corner and, you know... <laughs> make it to a date you know or pick up their date or what have you and go to the best restaurant and sit there and just be you know try to you know the woman trying not to let her girdle go and the guy's trying to look real nice and not get anything on his tie and you just trying your best to look your best your representative is there you not really there but your representative you know that's the outer self is there Okay, to look the best you can, you hoping not a hair go out of place, you know, and you just there to be cute. 
And I'm going to tell you what you really ought to do on this date. Y'all ready? Mm-hmm. I'm going to tell you three points on what you need to do, what you're supposed to be doing on this date. I hope that my millennial, my millennial babies are listening. Thank you guys so much. All age groups, y'all are listening to me here on Wise Courtship all over the world. I, I'm so grateful to God that you guys really tune in like that. It's such a blessing. And look, tell all your friends about it. I want you to win. I'm not the perfect person. I'm not the know-it-all person. But in this area, honey, I can tell you how to win. Okay. All righty. And I just congratulate you for being humble enough to sit up under wise counsel. I sit up under wise counsel too. We do it for our money. We do it for uh, education purposes. We do it even to get our hair done, our hair. We sit up under somebody who um, um, can tell us all what to do with our hair and what to do with our uh, face and what to do. You know, all this wise counsel we sit up under. Why not sit up under wise counsel in your relationships. And we're going to get into this content. Why am I, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do on a date? Okay. Well, first thing y'all ready? Let's get into this. Okay. First of all, first of all, remember that when you get in an argument, first of all, second of all, <laughs> I was like, what is this? Third of all, I was like, what is this? You know, I have to tell y'all about the story, child. I'm a suburbs girl, but my friends in the city, honey. Well, let us pray. Oh, that's all I'm gonna say. Cause all this head rolling, uh, I get, I get a crick in my neck when I do it. Okay, we gotta have fun. You know, you know, we got to laugh. Okay, all right. So, first of all, ask questions. Yes, ask questions. Look now, I mean. I know you want that food and some of y'all with your bad selves, you're just trying to get the sex, but dating has really reduced down to like food and sex. And we don't want that. I mean, well, when is right. Okay. Millennials, when is right now, we do want the food. I have never rejected a good plate, but what I'm saying is we want to get to know the person. You want to you want to know them. That's the real purpose of the date is to get to know them. You know, have you ever asked your girlfriend, "Oh, how did the date the date go?" "Oh, honey, girl, he was so good looking. Oh, and he smells so good. And then when he walked across the floor, it was like he was gliding on cloud. Ooh, child, he was so milky and chocolatey, and oh, his hair was so curly. And what y'all talk about? I don't know, but um, he was really." see don't let that be you i mean you still can enjoy you know the fact that he's all milk chocolate and his hair is curly i mean you can enjoy that enjoy it honey that she got a nice shape and her teeth is and all oh, her eyes and oh my god and the nails enjoy it but please get to know them because she can be a cute hatchet murderer okay she can be just as fine as she is as, as she dicing you up and putting you in garbage bags, honey, and throwing you in dumpsters. And if you don't believe it, there was one recently, a woman, she married the man, didn't want to marry him. Instead of just saying, no, I don't want to marry you. She marries him and kills him. Chop a ball up and everything. So listen, men, it can happen to you too. And by the way, um, just a good, uh, just a little fun fact. Wise courtship, it wasn't just written for women. It was written for men because I have two young adult sons. And at the time they were teenagers. Yeah. Weren't they teenagers back then when I wrote that? Yeah. Preteens and teenagers and preteens and a teen. And um, I was concerned. I want them to get someone wonderful in their lives too. So my men, my wise courtship men, I love y'all. Okay. And you guys were the ones that were supporting me on this podcast you were like number one it was like all men what no women listening to, even though the women were coming to me in person but the men all men was listening but now we about half and half and i appreciate y'all don't y'all go nowhere y'all know i love you so listen you want to get to know them who are they really because anybody can send their representative anybody can put on some cologne 
how good smelling it may be. Anybody can comb their hair and brush their teeth and um, put on a nice suit or a dress and look good. Anybody can do that, honey. And men, mm. wise court children, we need to have a um, we need to have our own private training. Now, I can't teach you to be a man, and I know there's some stuff that men talk about, but I need to tell you from a, a woman's perspective, like a mama perspective. Child, there's some stuff you need to look out for, honey. I mean, you think you're taking something home, but it may not be that. By the time she take them eyelashes off and that hair off and and them teeth off and and the, and the legs, oh remember that? <laughs> she take off her legs. Oh gosh, you be like Tony, come get me Tony. <laughs> well, anyway, oh god, <laughs> okay. I'm trying not to be bad, y'all, but you know, look out for the class. We we need to have a class together. Okay. Get to know them because you don't know what you're taking home if you don't. Get to know them. That is one of the things we said, ask questions. That's what questions do. It helps to bring out information. So you want to get to know them. All right. Um, what, what do you really, what do you really, what do you really need to know from them? If your aim is, um, cause, cause when you, when you date this person, you're basic. They're basically on an interview. And what do you do when you interview for a job? They ask you questions. They ask you questions. They want to get to know you. They want to know if you are a good fit for them as well. And that's where you want to go. When I say, what do you really want to know? What you really want to know is, are you a fit for me as well? Because you shouldn't date anyone unless they're a potential spouse. I'm not saying drag them down the aisle, y'all. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying don't be dating people just to be dating. I'm lonely. I'm tired. I'm hungry. I, I, because you know what? You just date anybody and hang with anybody. You may end up with them. All right. I, I don't have time to go into it thoroughly. I want to. If you want me to make a video just about that, please let me know. Um, but I'd be trying to keep these videos a little short. I, they probably long for YouTube, um, but whatever. I know the people that's in for the ride with me, y'all in for the ride, okay? <laughs> you want to know this stuff and you don't care how long it is. They give me the information. But anyway, you want to get to know them and you want to know if they are a good fit for you. What do I mean by that? If having children is important, you don't say, well, how many kids you want to have? But you just listen to what they're saying about family. You may ask some kind of question that will trigger that response but you want to keep your ear down to the ground. You want to ask a certain amount of questions that lead to what you're interested in. If family is important to you, you want to ask questions, you know, you know, um, what you, you know, you, do you have a family reunion? Does your family have family reunions? You know, mine had one and, oh, does your family have family reunions? You may preface it with, with, with your conversations about your family reunion, you know, or you may have a conversation, uh, yeah, you know, uh, if, if somebody working is important, you want them to have a job, you may not say, oh, do you have a job? But you may say, hey, you know, in my job, I'm doing such and such and such. And, you know, we work on this project and stuff, you know. So uh, what kind of projects do you do at your job? And if they say, oh, I don't have one. Well, you got your answer. <laughs> So you want to um, make sure that they are aligned with, with who you are. Like they don't have to be a carbon copy of you, but you guys have to be going down the same trail together. Because when you marry, that's a trail you're walking together. You're walking together down the same path. You're not walking down separate paths. Okay. And you want to make sure you're going to be able to walk down this path with this person. The other thing is you want to ask open-ended questions, not questions that require just a yes or no answer. You like kids? Yes. You like kids? No. You know, ask something open-ended. Now, this is just an example. What do you, what do you think about children? Well, that opens up a whole lot of, you know, a whole lot of information where they can say sentences and you can listen to those sentences, which is taking me to my second point. Not only are you going to ask questions too, you're going to listen. 
you're going to listen. Okay. What are they really saying? Because people say things, but you know, it can go by you if you're not really listening. The tonality, the attitude with it, the eyes, the expression. Um, as an actress, I can tell you, I can say hello different ways. Hello. 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 You know, you can say it in so many ways. What do they mean? What are they really saying? What's the attitude behind it? The energy behind it? And when they say something to you, you may have to dig deeper. Somebody say dig deeper. You don't have to be Inspector Gadget right here, okay? But what you may want to do is ask a follow-up question. Because sometimes when somebody answers something, it's not as clear. So you may want to ask a follow-up question. Uh, let me think. Um, what do you think about rice? Oh, well, I think rice is this, that, and the other. But, who child, I, I got sick from it the other day. Are you allergic to it? Are, are you allergic to rice or you think you have an allergy? Well, yeah, no, I ain't got no allergy, honey. My mama made that rice and uh, she don't have no business making it right. Oh, she's not a good cook. Uh, uh, you know, whatever, some kind of follow-up to it. Okay. And you try to make those follow-ups open-ended. Okay. But flowing in the conversation, interest in what they are saying, you're not trying to snag and drag somebody. Okay. You're just really trying to get information, get to know the person the other thing with listening is did you hear them did you hear them oh my gosh you know how many times we'll go to a lecture or we're in class or we're in a sermon or or we're having conversations with friends and people be hearing different things we all listen to the same thing and people be listening they hear different things that's why Great teachers repeat themselves. That's why pastors will have the or the announcer of the church will announce the same thing over and over again. Because you won't you won't hear it if you're not listening. Open up your ears and hear what they are saying. Are there some contradictions in what they're saying? Oh, I love my mama, but then you when you listening to them talk, they're like disrespecting their, their mother through the whole time. Well, she's stupid and she didn't know and she and she can't do this and she's not really that smart. Listen and see if these things are connecting with what they're saying. Okay. Yeah, you know, I I, I work the uh I work on the stock exchange. And then later when you talk about uh, um a short or or uh or you talk about uh something else in the stock, a trade, they're like, huh? I've heard people say so many different things in business and, uh, or even in the performing arts and I'll, you know, you say something, one of the terms or something, I'm not trying to trick, but you just talking, you know what I'm saying? Like when you know how to sew, you talking about stuff in sewing and there's some terms that some of us may not know. You talk about, um, um, talking about, uh, cars and you mentioned some things that some of us may not know. You made me talk about mechanics and mentioned some things that most people don't know. You're talking about raising children or you're talking about um, uh, the culinary arts. You're talking about anything that is a specialty somebody claims to be in and you start talking about it. And when you mention something, they like, huh? Then you know they lying right? How many of you have come across somebody that says something and you know they lying because you know they don't do it that way. I'll never forget we was in church one time down in the basement. You know, back in the day, you had a little stuff going on in the basement, right? Now we got we got fellowship halls and all that kind. We got wings, honey. We got extensions. We got big buildings. God has been good. But I remember you'd be down in the church basement. That's where you would have your refreshments and stuff. And the lady said, yeah, I got my doctorate degree. Oh, so oh, okay, that's great. Um, what she said? Wait a minute, hold up. How she say it? What did she say? She said, "I got my doctor." I said, "Oh, that's great." What did you get your master's in? And she said, "I didn't get a master's. You get that? You get that uh, later or something?" She was saying. <laughs> and, we, and me and the other guy who got several masters, we were like, "Uh, no, okay, no, ma'am, no, ma'am." 
yeah, yeah, yeah. You you get your doctorate before your master's or something. She was saying. I don't know if she said the master's before the doctor something, but it was out of order. Okay, because I can't even think that twisted. That's why I can't even remember. All right, but I know she was out of order. So you can't tell people who got degrees that oh, a doctor a doctor comes before the master's or or the bachelor's comes after. I got a headache. You you just can't do it. Because we know, all right? So you want to ask open-ended questions. I mean, I'm sorry, you want to um, hear what they're saying and you want to hear whether there's contradiction, all right? So one, we said ask questions. Two, we said listen. Here's the third one. And we're going to shut it down. What am I supposed to do on a date? Enjoy. Enjoy, okay? It's not that serious, y'all. It's not that serious. I'm not trying to tell you to go in there and be Inspector Gadget. I got to get all this stuff. And if they don't check off the right way, then you out of here. No, 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 no. It's not that serious, okay? It's a casual way to do it. We still on there on a mission, but we want to enjoy it, okay? Eat and have some fun. Eat that fried chicken. Go ahead and eat it. If you vegan, go ahead and I ain't going to say eat on no carrot because I was vegan for about seven and a half years. Okay. If you vegan, honey, go ahead and eat all that good stuff that you can eat as a vegan. People be tripping. They be like, you just going to eat a carrot. The devil is a lie. <laughs> but go ahead and eat. Have fun. Laugh at what's being said if it's funny. You know, connect, you know, but just don't go in there with blinders on. Because love can be blind. And you start looking and everybody's like, hello, blink, blink, blink. You going through changes because somebody look good. Enjoy. It is not that serious. We want you to enjoy it. But also not only enjoy it, you want, because you know, we we like to be entertained. That's the that's the time we live in. Entertain me, honey. We want to be entertained. We want the person to entertain us. They they supposed to come out. Oh, I got lipstick on my face. They want us to come out uh, and always entertain them. But my question is, are you fun? Are you fun to be around? Well, think, 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 think. Because you know, the first person to say, I'm fun. Sometimes you ain't the one. But what we want to say is, am I? What's your humor like? Some people do not have a sense of humor whatsoever, okay? But all right, if you're down on some areas, you got to be up on others. You can't be down on every area. You know what I'm saying? You can't be like this hermit. You don't want to talk. You don't want to smile. You don't want to laugh. You don't want to dance. You don't want to, you got to do something. So if you're not really that great in humor, but you sure can dance, you know, you be doing the huckabuck or whatever you do. You sure can dance, okay? You're real kind. You're gentlemanly. You pull out the chair. But, you know, if you're not going to get the joke and you got a bad attitude and you don't, you know, I don't eat this and I don't eat that and, I, and I'm allergic to this. I'm allergic to this. And you, you got all these issues and you got all these problems. Child, please, you are not fun. And nobody's going to want to be around you. So yes, you want to enjoy it. It's really not that serious. Eat your food, have a good time, be fun, be somebody who wants somebody wants to be around. And 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 really think about what makes you special. Because we always want the other person to be special. But what makes you special? We are all special. But what is it about you that is special? Now, if you can't answer that question, don't you go on a date. Learn yourself first. See, a lot of people go on these dates because we don't know ourselves. We don't like ourselves. And so we're going to get somebody else to make us feel better about us. That's not how you do it. You got to get to know yourself. You got to like yourself. And once you do that, you can go on a date. Because look, when you don't like yourself, you're going to attract somebody who don't really like you either. They'll act like they like you. And then when they finally get you, they'll be beating on you, hitting on you, spitting on you, kicking on you, stepping on your self-esteem and all of that. And that goes for men and women. So you want to really know what makes you special. What do you bring to the table? 
if they are to connect with you, what would they get out of the deal? And don't tell me they're going to get some butt and they're going to get some, you know, whatever, some sex, whatever. Cause you know, that don't have nothing to do with a relationship. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, go to my YouTube channel, bit.ly forward slash Tony tube. And the two T's are capitalized. And I explained to you that sex is not a relationship. Ooh, that's deep. Ooh, that was good. I want to know what makes you special. What are your gifts? What are your talents? What do you have to offer? What are you going to bring to the table if someone wants to be in relationship with you? Well, I got to go. But I can be reached on the web at www.wisecourtship.com. I'm on social media just about everywhere. It's Wise Courtship or Tony Henderson Mayers. All you have to do is Google me. Just know that I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. And remember, I help you detect a lover worth living with. Bye. Are you subscribed to the Wise Courtship philosophy? Then you need to get your Wise Courtship gear at the Wise Courtship store. Go to bit.ly forward slash Wise Courtship store. All the letters are lowercase. They make amazing gifts from children, adults, men and women, jewelry, hats, cell phone cases, t-shirts, and more. Represent Wise Courtship by going to bit.ly forward slash Wise Courtship store. Thank you.